Hey everyone, it's me, Alex, and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to connect your MT15K to your TV. So the things you'll need today is your MT15K, of course, uh, an adapter if you require an adapter to connect AV to your TV. Other TVs may just have the connections like this. You can just plug them straight through. So you can ignore the step if you need an adapter. Every TV is different. Nowadays, maybe you need an AV to HDMI converter. I have a video about that. I'll do that in a future video. But for this video today, I'm gonna to be doing like this. It's AV still, it just goes into an adapter. Sup mic, if you want, if you have other singers, if you wish, if you don't have to, this is optional. Your karaoke handbooks, you can select your songs uh, after you're connected and your AC power adapter. If you guys saw my video on the ED8000, I connected, I used in the, in the video with batteries. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert my batteries, but this is optional with you guys. If you already plugged in the power adapter in the back of your TV, do not insert batteries. You're good to go. So you can just wait for the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and insert batteries. So now, this is where the steps again meet up. But for this one, if we take a look in the back of the uh, MT15K, there's no battery slots. You cannot use battery with batteries with the MT15K. So you'll need the adapter in order to <clears throat> can, can have power to your mt15k so let me go ahead and get your view to the tv and we'll go ahead and get Sorry, started. i said i was gonna plug in i was gonna show you a view to the tv but i think step number one is should be plugging in our power <laughs> there we go so now it's plugged in since i require an adapter i'm gonna go ahead and show you right now what i mean i'm gonna grab my adapter and i'm gonna connect the colors right here so the yellow right here the red right here and the white right here and since I already plugged in the AC power adapter, you can go ahead and grab the AC power adapter and plug it in. There we go. So now that means now our magic scene is receiving K uh, power. So let's go ahead and plug this to the back of our TV and let me get you a view to that. So you can see now that we're connected, we're going to go ahead and grab our, well, if you have these cables, you would plug, in, plug them in directly to the TV. But I don't. I only have this connector. So we're going to go ahead and plug this in. There we go. Now it's connected. So our magic sync's connected to our TV. So now that you've turned on, I mean, sorry, plugged in your magic sync to your TV, you want to grab your TV remote. This is a Samsung TV. So, but your uh, remote or TV, of course, may be different. It doesn't matter as long as you're plugged in. So what you want to do is now is turn on your TV. This is going to go ahead and turn on. So there we go. Now our TV is turned on. But wait a minute. Our source is in a different source. We want to have it in, oh. There we go. We want to have it on AV because Magic, our Magic Sing MT15K only works with AV. So we're going to want to locate the source button on a remote. Every button, I mean, sorry, every remote is different. But for here, as you can see, it's source. So I'm going to go ahead and click it. I'm going to click on AV, which is the yellow, white, and red cables. Now it says AV. And now I should say no signal instead of no cable connected. There we go. No signal. So you can see now it says no signal. So what you can do here now before you turn on your magic sync, I would adjust the volume so you know you can hear the music and everything. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it up to 50, 17 because last time in the other video was kind of quiet. So now you want to locate your MT15K and find the on switch. As you can see right now it's on off. So we have to turn this up. So let's go ahead and turn it up. Now I should say power on. There we go. Now I hope we heard the music. <laughs> so now it's turning on. And you want to select karaoke. So you'll click on the green button. There we go. Karaoke's open. So now from here, if you have someone else syncing with you, you click on mode zero. And sub mic setting, you'll click on the green button to toggle on and off. It's the same thing. You click that. Now it says on. So you can go back by clicking the focus red of uh, this arrow gonna take you back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and set down our MT15K. I'm gonna put it over here so it does not do any feedback. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab the sub mic, which I know this is the sub mic from the ED9000. I don't have the sub mic for the MT15K. So I'm using this one, it works. There you go, it's flashing. So now you, hello? Oh, there we go, you can hear me now through the TV. So I'm just gonna I'll put it over here. Now you can hear me through the TV speakers. So I'm gonna go, now I'm going to go ahead and turn it off so we don't do any noise, extra, extra noise. And now, from here, you're connected. So now, you can go ahead and grab your karaoke handbook, find your favorite song, and start singing. So 
that was pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. If you have any, uh, any, if you ran into any issues with plugging in uh, during this process, you can go ahead and leave it in the comment section below, and I'll be, I'll be happy to help you. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on the bell so you can get notified every time I post a new video. See you guys next time in my next video. I Goodbye. This also, sorry, guys, that the video was over, but I also did this with the last video. Some people may prefer to uh, have, have their magic scene connected to a much better sound sound uh, system so what you would do is plug in the video cable only so to your tv there will only be the yellow cable which the yellow is the video so you would only plug this in and the you, well, you sorry <laughs> the white and red are going to plug into your receiver so let's say this is the receiver i found another adapter actually so let's say this is the re receiver red right here and then this right here but see, now this is just the audio. So this would go to a receiver while we only have the yellow now. So you would, let's say this is our TV input. We'll just plug it into the TV right here. So now our, your video and audios are uh, separate now. They're split. So you would only have video on your TV. So you do not adjust the TV volume now. And you would adjust the source on your receiver to get the signal to your magic sync. Or if you just wish to sync using your TV speakers, which I just did right now, you feel free to do that. You just plug them into one. So I hope you found this video helpful and make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Goodbye.